It seems like every year I hear less about reversing polarization and more about real science and mathematics. Movies are finally starting to get it. Hey there friends, it's Trace here, your friendly neighborhood D-News host. When it comes to science and film and television, the entertainment industry really made us all believe that a phone can hack anything and that a scanner can show us exactly where that blood spatter came from. But in reality, science is a hell of a lot more complex and granular than all that. In The Amazing Spider-Man 2, the director, Mark Webb, took the time to make science an integral part of Peter Parker and Spidey. You know, actually in the first movie when we were, trying to, we were talking about the, the swinging, we came up with an equation uh, uh, to define how quickly he would swing and the wow. tangential acceleration for to make, you know, everything. to make everything feel real. And, yeah. and that's what our animators do every day. They replicate uh, the physical world to make that stuff look real. Sometimes, for films, science is just too rigid and creative liberties need to be taken. But you can't just say, reverse the polarity, like in the old Star Trek days. The spies, the police, the forensic shows, they've all turned technology into something more like magic. But audiences have um, sometimes a higher expectation. Harry Osborn and his father are both uh, infected by a disease right. which Bob Horsey actually invented called retroviral hyperplasia and that was our way of creating a uh, ticking clock mm -hmm. for those characters to drive them forward and when we developed the the goblin design people at Weta did a lot of research on on different you know, diseases that would manifest themselves in terrifying ways. Humans are naturally curious. When something is wrong with our environment, some of us feel compelled to find out why. Funnily enough, we don't just look to the classroom to get us inspired and excited. I'm sure there are scientists who could cite their love of the nerdiness of Peter Parker in the comics, and maybe now Gwen Stacy too. How do you feel about being like a kind of a role model for someone who works in science? Gwen is a very lovely, intelligent woman who's, you know, blazing her own trail through the science field. And right. she's getting a scholarship to Oxford, which is pretty right. fantastic. Fortunately, there are specialists working with modern superhero films to keep the science accurate, and fans who call them out on their mistakes. When we were first researching this movie, we went to a couple labs and, and learned about biology, and I was like, oh my god, do people know about this? This is like a, this is amazing, this is the best. You know, nerd is definitely something that is at the forefront of our world today. But yeah, when you talk about electro, the science of electricity and all of the stuff that they're doing, and I, I, I think it makes sense. Science nerds are more visible in pop culture today than jocks are. Think about how many sports movies there have been in the last decade versus how many science movies. The question I had was, who was driving it? The audience's love of science? or the industry putting it out to us. I love science. Am I part of the nerd community? If you'd like to be, I guess. I love science, and when I was growing up, we celebrated Einstein's birthday, yeah. Einstein's 100th birthday, because my dad was sort of obsessed, and we love Richard Feynman, and, and so scientists were sort of celebrities in our house. And no spoilers, but without a basic knowledge of science, Peter and Gwen would not have fared that well against Electro. So why not hop down into the comments and share your favorite things that you've learned or talk about why you love science. Plus, if you swing on over to Animalist News, you can see what spiders are really like. Hey, Alex. Hey, how's it going? Yeah, we talk about uh, spiders and how they're sort of compared to Spider-Man. It's, uh, they're amazing spiders, man. <laughs> anyway, you can tweet at us at DNews or come say hi to me at Trace Dominguez. And don't forget, watch Animalist too. Thanks for watching. See ya. Bye.